Southeast Electricity Consumers Association has embarked on its one-month warning strike against payment for meters and other related supply equipment to EDC and geometrics. Members of the Advocacy Association have come together in solidarity to not pay estimated bills as they demand a free prepaid metering. The chairman of the association, Reverend Okechuku Obioha, joins us now. Welcome. Yeah, good morning. Good to see well, you again. Thank you for having me again. <laughs> How do you feel now that the warning strike has kicked off? I mean, you've been talking about it for months now. Yes, How do you months. feel now it's all started? It's okay. We're very consistent. And uh, we kept telling them our readiness and preparedness to embark on that strike. And uh, we kept everybody aware in our platforms, and other platforms, for people to get ready for it. And then we, on 16 days to the day, we kept reminding people, 16 days, 15 days, and all that. And then they got to... Uh, midnight of uh, Friday, and then we got into Saturday, which is the 16th, mm -hmm. 15th, sorry. And then the, the, the strike is on. What has compliance been like? Well, to our members, uh, they have been very reasonable compliance. The issue is that uh, even though we have been interfacing with the uh, EEDC, you know, you know, writing them from our lawyer, their replies, and writing them again, giving them notice of the strike, and then they are replying us. Uh, before now, the EDC, I would say, you know, they usually will give the bills from the 10th to 15th, and now start cutting their lives from maybe the same day or the next two days. But this time around, they now issued a statement which they've never done before to the general public that they are going to, you know, they will, all those that have not paid, if you've not paid by the 10th, you know, they will start cutting the light, which uh, made them to <laughs> step into the toes of the Enugu state government by going to cut their lights before the tent. Mm -hmm. And they are just trying to be uh, somehow in their diploma, in their management, whatever tactics, beat our uh, 15th. So that when they issue out that, people will start paying before the 15th. So some of our members anyway, they knew what they were doing was to send in the charts rooms and all that, do we pay? Because it was starting 15th and they had given them to pay bills before 10th and they would start cutting them on 11th. There was a kind of panic in some waters. But so a few other people did that and they were asking, we said, no, come on, the 15th, if they have done what they have done to beat us, the bill we're talking about will really start up from the 15th. So don't pay. And then the majority of our members didn't pay. The only thing they had was the response we had was from some of our members who called and said, look, our landlords, some of our landlords, some, they said, if you don't pay uh, your bills, we will give you quick notice. And we said, go ahead and pay. If your landlord doesn't understand we're trying to save him and save his children, and this is children, children from the wagmire of electricity short supply in the southeast of the darkness. Pay him, but take phone number. It's not a threat, but take the phone number of that landlord. Send it to the state secretary of SICA or from the local government so that we'll note him. Because if you are trying to help EDC for us to be in darkness, by the time things get better and all that, and they know what we're trying to do, we'll mark him and he's going to pay for it. So there's serious, reasonable compliance. All right. Mm. So um, this this strike now, what exactly are people not paying for? Is it just bills or does it include other services? Like I know I saw something about um, payments for meter um, allocation and other things. So what exactly is the full range of the strike actions? And what exactly are you hoping as a response from the EEDC? The, the, the thing is that we were well, well, called our concern, our request from the discos, because in this, the discos, there are about two discos now, because it's not only EDC. The same problem we're having is the same problem the people in our barring area oh. are having. But, you know, buying for transformers, repairing transformers and all that, spending millions of naira and all that, are the geometric. So that's why we have to put in geometrics there. Because it's like it's in their DNA. Most of those people who are in geometry, that two jobs with geometry, had worked with the EEDC and they moved over there. So the same problem. And you remember that geometrics took over two years ago, 2022, 
from EEDC. So they've been there about for what they let did. So what we are asking them is to give us the equipment to measure, calculate, so that we can manage our energy, mm. uh, the energy we are having. So we are talking about prepared meters given to consumers. And again, you are now coming up to, well, I have to say that again, EEDC came up. And then surprisingly, the meters, they said they had none. They don't have any. I remember the television, their producer, you know, asked uh, the head of communication, and they said, we don't have meters. And then they were also talking about uh, getting loans from the World Bank, which, of course, the Senate facilitated and the federal government had gotten now. But within the period of getting that money, $500 million from the World Bank, and it's not been disbursed yet. So all of a sudden, because of panic, they are under pressure. They now said, we have meters. If you now pay 200 and something thousand for three phases, 100 and something thousand for one single phase, we will get you installed within 48 hours. And here we have people who have paid for meters. Since one year, six months, they are paid. They had their demand notice, and they paid into the bank. We have them. Oh. Even coming to the public domain to say that if you can give us the names of the people who follow up, we we'll send the receipts of people who paid. So we has, we, people now said, do we not go to pay? Because they have given us instruction, come and pay in various places, in Enugu, in Anambra, in Abia. Come and pay by Friday, so that within 48 hours. We know it's the, the, the and we are wondering, where are those meters coming from? And it boils down to the confirmation of what we said, that they had hoarded these meters, waiting for price increase. And that is the reason why also we are wondering, because like the head of communication said here, that we are selling electricity. They are in market, they are in business. If you are selling, sales is not done by one person, it's just like communication must be dual to be effective. It has to do with two persons, mm -hmm. the seller and the buyer. So if we consumers are the buyers of electricity, you are selling electricity, we should be brought in the note, in the note, into the negotiation. Because you say, this is my price. And I'll say, this is what we'll have to pay. You negotiate until you get the finance. You can't come to tell us that you, are, you have just tagged the price you, with the NRS, uh, NEC, National Electricity Electric Commission. And that's why we say that the Electricity Commission, NEC, has compromised oh. immensely. They have, terribly, they have compromised with the discourse to men and, you know, deal with the consumers, the poor users of electricity. And whether you call it government or not, the government have not been helped to matters at all. So they now have said, you now pay. We now told our members, you go by Friday, apply, get your demand notice, but don't pay. Because this is supposed to be free. All the explanations they are making, they have no money. It's not our business because we did feasibility studies before. You beat it. You knew the, how humongous, how whatever the electricity, the PSCN gave you all the assets. And liabilities, huge assets. I mean, all the wires, all the poles have been led by ECN, NEPA, PSC, PSCN, before even you took over, everywhere. That's a huge assets everywhere in the Southeast. So you had all that. So, and then you bid it. Then all these stories of, uh, well, giving you electricity as for the Christmas and all that, you know, uh, electricity supply is a, a long term thing. We'll be suffering loss. It doesn't make sense to us because if you are suffering a lot, you can't be in a business. If I know my this is a little bit, even though a stack illiterate I am, if I know my this is a little bit, you should be able to know if you get into business, you try it a few period of time and giving losses. You are not the product Christmas. Then you say you are giving you because you are not paying equal to the tariff that is supposed to be made. So what we are saying for now is that all our members and those who care, who care, who are concerned to follow us. As a matter oh. of, yeah, you are a consumer. He is a, even workers of EEDs have followed us. They are consumers. They are members of SECA. Pay, go and get your demand. Don't pay. If you must pay, let EEDs come as a seller. Even if you don't want to use, go to individuals, because there was no town hall meetings held by consumers to have their feedback. And then now we are representing a huge sum of uh, consumers. Negotiate with us. Even if you want us to pay, if we must pay to help you, understand that we're giving you a help. It's an assistance. It's a loan. That even if we want to calculate you, we should be able to build some kind of interest. Because the people who gave you money, you said they gave you money from central bank, you are paying with interest. We, if I'm parting with my money at this hard end, this difficulty, if I'm putting with 100 and something thousand, 200 and something thousand, you know what it means? 
Uh, you mean to be able, even if you are not giving me interest, I will neg we must negotiate. If I negotiate and you are not giving me interest, I say, Talk, it's an interest free loan. You should be able to also give me an energy. Because this energy given from TCN, I mean, Genco's to TCN, transferring to you, give it to me in the meter you are giving to me. Let it be built in there. Don't tell me you, if I buy 10 units, which of course you know that this is like a Kalu Kalu now. If you put any, what a charge, bam, it goes up. Don't tell me you are, if I buy 10 units and then you give me five units. You can't, it's all you to determine what I have given you money. And then you want to decide also how that money will be expired or be used of then in the next one year or two years. Then that 100 or something thousand. It doesn't happen that way. In a market economy, in a market arrangement, you are a seller, I'm a buyer. Get us to the known. Get us to the discussion. Let us discuss. We're not, we're, we pity you if you say you have no capital. <laughs> we will still be wondering. Because the, outrageous, the, 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 the concern is the outrageous estimated bills and the bulk bill will be given to communities. I have a village in Ibuku, a chairman of a village, all the villages in one village that was paying 8 million naira every month. And in a period of two years, they paid 200 and something million in a small village to as bulk billing. They now call the EEDC. Take your bulk billing by November last year. Give us prepared or let us be in darkness. And up to today, EEDC are not gone. I'll tell you, these are facts. Oh. So get us this, that's what we said. Designate a desk in your office as Sika. It's not that we're trying to pride ourselves or whatever, but we have come out so that we can be giving you information. It will be detailed with DHL. There are a lot of huge number, thousands of transformers, people with complaints that are not working. Some of them are even hanging. After they have bought it, you are asking them to bring one million plus to energize it, to put oil. That's energization. You put oil and so to make it active, get suffering. So what we are saying to our members is that get their demand, but don't pay it until we're able to discuss with them. They must come, but they are, they are bluffing. And we are going on, because the more we are going, like the program I'm having now, we are sensitizing everybody. It's coming to clarity to, everybody's coming to know that these guys have been exploiting us. Mm. So, but I mean, I remember I, I had the uh, uh, head of com corporate communications, the maker is there, and he mentioned that, um, AEDC never requests people to buy transformers. That usually it's the um, activities of fraudulent people. And they're not ruling out that some of these fraudulent people may not be inside the system, but that nobody um, is requested by AEDC to buy transformers. So the, the question now is um, like every Nigerian, I'm not going to pretend I don't know. We get this thing from time to time when they say everybody in the world is to pay 50,000 or 20,000 or 10,000 because we want to buy a new transformer, or they want to repair feeder pillars. So there's always that. So uh, how, do, how do we now close this disparity between the claims that EDC makes that, you know, it's fraudulent people? Who, who is going after these so-called fraudulent people? My brother, we, we left PSCN. Federal government in their, I would say, so-called wisdom, because we're not having what we actually bargained for. Then they did what they did by pulling this in for PSCN and asking this coach to come on board by unbundling the NEPA, and then six uh, uh, transmission, uh, 11 Jenkos, and so on, for, to better the, to improve the services, the delivery of electricity. That's why we, this thing was unbundled. Now, if you come up by PACM, we are now better off. We were talking about epilepsy, power supply is a different thing. Now we are shock already in terms of supply. The inconsistencies, the technicalities they involve that the ordinary man like me would not understand. So what I'm saying is that the transformer, for the fact, when we're in the PSN, if you report, the PSN will come and repair their transformers. They don't wait for one week, two weeks, three weeks. My own stayed two years and eight months in my village in Uzakle, in my own village. And that time they were calling me ambassador, even though they come to deny it on the TV. I don't want to know about that. But uh, as a customer, they came took took their hire from Enugu, came to Zakla, all the way in Abia State, and pulled this until the communities came and alleged that, in fact, it became so much, if not that I, I bear the name in my community, that I have stolen their, uh, in fact, they, they ostracized me, announced in a community village, that I was, until I went into dragons and so on with EDC, they have known me from the management until they came, after about two years and eight months. And gave, so if you are waiting for a transformer, You'll be forced to, because they will tell you, let's assume that they didn't write you a letter to say, look this. But by, by the action, by what you're seeing, 
they are requesting that and the community, co co community or the individual will give you a transformer. They will also ask for energization. This is not a uh, certain, it's an open secret that they know it. And then if for you to say that you are not requesting people to go, and then by the time somebody buys a transformer, sir, for them to, for you to confirm that they, are, they know what they're doing and they're telling lies, they're being economic with the truth, they will not ask you to write, ask you, they will write an undertaking like a donation. I'm donating this transformer to you this way. What is that? It's stealing by tricks. How can you tell somebody, you and this transformer, you should even be happy that somebody has provided equipment for you. And also, what we're also saying, we will not come to that of transformer something and the post buying, the wires buying, we'll come to that. That's what Sika is going to do. We're talking about preparing first. So, because if, uh, if, if uh, something is being done right, equitably, justifiably, and in fairness, by the time I buy a transformer and it's 8 million, even send your, this thing, go and confirm from the person who purchased it, send your agent, let us go together, and you buy a transformer, you certify it in your office. You should be able to impute the energy equivalent of that transformer to that community. But what we are seeing today, which you see now every day, whatever is that, after buying the transformer for 8 million, 6 million, 13 million, or thereabouts, the next month you hear this will come after energizing it and then be giving them 400,000 naira bill. Next month, then 600 and something thousand. The other month, 1.7 million. It's a bottle of contradiction. It doesn't make sense at all. You, the, the, this price thing you mentioned has been, um, particularly this last bill, mm. I'm not going to deny, you know. Uh, I don't know if it's conflict of interest, but I myself I had to write to EEDC <laughs> this month. Um, I, I, I mean, we are, and I thought I was the only one, only to see that there was a barrage of complaints. Barrage. Yes. So does SICA have any, will I say, a holistic platform? Of, sorry, let me, put, let me not say holistic. Let me say a, a single platform where we can aggregate, you know, this particular complaint. Because, I mean, we've seen hotels, hospitals, supermarkets. Um, we, we, were pleased, too many. we were pleased to see that the, the tariff had come down from 225 to 206. It doesn't make sense. That but in the, in, the, in the same period, what I mean, as a business, what, what worried me was that... Did they discuss with you before they brought that tariff? That no, the, the tariff question. came down, but that's not even the big issue. The tariff came down from 225 to 206. But in a month where for one week, due to a surge from EEDC, one full week, the entire radio was off air. Transmitter, equipment, everything. You know, we, had, we also had a deliberate uh, power strategy meeting where we deliberately went on to time our usage with solar and general and cut our power down by 30, 40%. We got usage from 5,300 kilowatt hours to 9,900. It almost doubled in a month where we were off for a week and cut down our power. So despite them reducing the, the tariff marginally, our bill almost doubled. So the, 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 the question I'm asking is, nobody came with any clamp, nobody came to check any reading. Is there a platform where maybe we can now come together and start, maybe have, start putting class actions? No, no, the thing is that, the, the thing is that, you see, we have national platform where the NEC, some NEC management people are there, even director of customer services from NEC, from Abuja, Dr. Shitu. We have uh, another few other people there. We have players of, uh, in the industry. We have some management. <laughs> Mr. Meke is my friend, I should say the management, but at least a, a platform where you have the head of communication, the head of security, the head of customer services, the head of whatever. They, they are all there, an executive director of EEDC there. We have geometrics in that national platform. And in the state platform, which is all filled up and so on, once in a while like that. Since five states, they are there. Local government, 95 local government in size, we have all the platforms. We don't add people. You come in, we send you a link so that you can go out on your own volition and you come in on your own volition. So we don't, we don't, we don't go on asking people whatever. So the issue, like you were mentioning, how could you come up? That's the same thing that's happening with the estimated billing and the bulk billing. How many times did you go to call the chairman of the electricity committee, you know, in the community that you build on bulk or community and say, come, here, come. So, so our, we're going to look at the transformer, which is risky anyway, so that we can read the transformer, the meter you are putting there. How many times? How many times, like you say now, your bill, even though they reduce whatever they say, is a jargon, you know, I say it's confusion, you know, and they say, I say that the NEC and federal government, so they are bonded and bounded by those uh, band A, band B, and all the prices they're giving, because even if you want to give a tariff, 
you should get the people involved, whole time meetings and then, because look, we are part of, federal government is holding 40% share in all the discourse. By virtue of that, I pay my tax. I'm saying it in the public, they know, I just said no. I have my tax clearance. And my father who died 2012, at 91 years. You know, he was, not only that he was paying his tax and rates, he was the, the chief collector of tax and rates in the 50s and 60s and so on. And so that, by that means, ECN, my father and my grandfather paid tax to retain ECN, NEPA, then PSCN. And by now, the federal government to supervise them and also to be like an humble smart, which they are not doing, to all the discourse, they have 40%, which means you have a share in EDC. You are a shareholder, you are a stakeholder in EDC, you are a shareholder in the geometrics. So why would they not put, why would they not put prices without consulting you, without hearing from you? That is a, a misnomer in terms of any business transaction. So what I'm saying is that, okay, you see it, that's the, the worry that uh, our members are now worried. Most times we say we have 50 megawatts, we have 85 megawatts. Number one, we say, why we are talking and shouting and saying is that whether it is one, uh, every day of Nobi said whether glucose or glucose, what is the potential whether glucose is in your house? Whether you have 80% of people, give us the equipment to measure so that we can manage. If I don't want to have a light in my house for one week, I will. So, but again, that is what we're saying. The people in estimated, how many months or how in a month, intermittently or whatever, or varied, that you say, you give somebody an estimated of 15 million, I mean 15,000. Next one, you say, oh, come on, there's a kind of supply we have. We have a problem. In fact, there was a, our pole fell down in our here. So there was no supply of light for one month. So the bill now is 3,000. Next other month, okay, we have more supply of 20 hours and 24 hours. Your bill now, no, it always goes up. That is the confusion. The people, that's oh. where the people, why people are in a state right. of amakeme. Yeah. Am yeah. so, so one said it's when you pay your bill, if you pay your bills regularly, they keep going up. Yes, now. <laughs> the money, they, they, as if they are just something. So they have maybe, they, the other day, they, they, I read when they said, when they were trying to explain their experience with the Enugu State uh, uh, Government, they said, we are being owed 180 billion. These are all estimated. I, I think it was 1.3 billion. One, one no, 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 they said, they said, they said, Enugu government is winning 1.3 billion. Mm -hmm. Before Enugu now got angry, and they said, <laughs> you know, because they, they, the snake that beat us as consumers, the tell just touched Enugu state government because they've been there all this while as governments. That's another story for another day because they are supposed to take care of their citizens. Oh. They have been crying and dying and choking. These are the areas of governance that government should have even looked into. It's not a matter of just going to say uh, we have registered, we have had a law, and now that we're going to generate a transmit. It's not easy to generate and transmit. It's just easier said than done because it's humongous, the thing in power sector. No, that, so, I think that's more of regulatory oversight. So, well, that's oversight, but the, the oversight now will make them come in and begin to do the same thing because it's the same DNA that is in everywhere until God, there's a revolution in the system. Mm -hmm. And uh, people's psyche are wired, you know, and so on. So now they say two point something million our infrastructure. And we say we have been putting transformers, doing a lot of things for EEDC without mindful. But now because <laughs> they now say you are owing, God just let them in a bit to beat the strike of Seca on the 15th. They put it on the 10th. And some people went in you know, ignorantly and with zeal and when then they touched. The snake that beaten us for years, 10 years now from EEDC, all the consumers. The tail just touched the EEDC with the one team in, bam, bam, and went and then caught the light of UNTH and all that and so on, and then they received their office. But that's another story for another day, because the government came up. Because they should have been up for now, for 10 years, to monitor what, how their citizens are being dealt with. It's not only giving us roads. If you go for give us roads and give us uh, well, whatever, and water and so on, and all, all that money you are trying to save us in terms of good governance is being drained by EEDC. So what I'm saying is that there's no point what they are talking about, about the bills, about whatever, one point something million and so on. And then EEDC, EEDC said, we are being owed 180 billion. You're not being, I told them, I said, you are not being owed. You are owing consumers 180 billion. You have collected an estimated billion. All right. We have very little time left. I mean, lots of valid points. You answered Nambi's question when you said that people are free to join uh, Sika, the groups, the different platforms, all yes. by just yes. clicking on the link and yes. then they join yes. based on the ones you send. So um, the Enigo State government obviously has reacted. The controversial disconnection notice yeah. ended up making them to perhaps go seal EEDC, yes. right? So now let, let's look at progressive solutions because 
above all else, solutions journalism is important. Is Sika considering any innovative solutions to the power challenges being faced? You've already said one. EDC should have a desk for Sika at their office. Are there any other solutions that Sika is considering? Very briefly, please. No, no, no. The, the, the only solution, if they have Sika, if they have a platform, if they don't want to have a platform, the like they didn't come and have a. A, a table or in the, let the, the actual TV be the middle person. We can be outside there every other time we come and discuss. But let us put us into discussion. What we're worried is it? because it's not like seeking significance or seeking pre, uh, attention. But it, because the whole thing is the quagmire is multiplied, the, 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 it's monumental all over the southeast. That's why we have been in darkness. There's no, com no company, no individual, no business that is not complaining. So what we want them to do, now they have accepted that from nowhere, meters are available. Talk with us. We don't agree that people will come and pay 200 something thousand naira and all that. Don't pay until we have discussed you with you mm -hmm. how that energy, if we're going to help you, we'll discuss, give me attention, make me feel, have a sense of belonging, what you're doing. Don't make me look stupid as a consumer. You just stay there at a tag price and they will ask me to come and pay. We are asking everybody, we're using the opportunity today. Every consumer in the Southeast, join for if we are not in our platform. Don't pay to EEDC any bill. Let us all stay in darkness. By the time all of us are in darkness, then God and the earth and the people outside the country, even in the country, they will ask EEDC, why is Southeast in darkness? And something will be stirred up and a solution will come. Thank you so much, Reverend, for being here today. God bless you. It's a pleasure having you. Thank you. And we wish you... All the best. Good luck. And we hope that this all yields something positive in society. Thank you. Once Thank again. you. Thank you for having me.